Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video for AutoCAD 2017. In this video we're going to be looking at producing uh, drawings using lines, so uh, this will be uh, a good video to get started on uh, if, you've, uh, if you're very unfamiliar with AutoCAD. So to get started we've got AutoCAD 2017 open, uh, we're going to start a new drawing uh, using the template or, uh, ACAD ISO named Plot Styles. So we'll select that one there and we've got started. Now the drawing that we're going to produce uh, is going to uh, fit in down here at the moment. So what we're going to do is uh, at the moment we're going to uh, click here on the zoom button on the arrow underneath it and we're going to select zoom all which will uh, take us into the limits that are currently imposed on this drawing uh, for drafting purposes. Uh, again we'll explain a little bit more about uh, changing that and the different types of zoom in a, in a later uh, video. Uh, for the time being it's enough to know that the easiest way to zoom in and out of something uh, is simply to use the mouse wheel. By, so by scrolling uh, uh, backwards you zoom out and by scrolling forwards you zoom in uh, and that's that's probably the easiest way of doing it at the moment and if you want to pan your drawing uh, so if you want to move around the drawing just hold down the mouse wheel and you can move around like that. Again there's other ways of doing all of this uh, but this is uh, far and away the, the simplest way and to be honest that's most of the navigation uh, that you'll need to do in, in 2D CAD. Uh, you don't need to do much uh, orbiting or uh, pivoting or anything like that so that's that's quite a good start. So let's get started uh, by producing uh, some lines. Now as we've said in previous videos uh, AutoCAD works on a grid system uh, so for starters we're going to be looking at what are basically Cartesian coordinates uh, so we've got an x-axis and a y-axis so on here we've got uh, points that are numbered now 0 0 is here uh, so at that point there and you can see if I if I get my mouse very very close to that the cursor there you can see that I'm very very close to having that at 0 0 uh, AutoCAD is very very precise so it's going to move my uh, it's going to tell me very precisely where my mouse is I'm not snapping to the grid at the moment, uh, so it's telling me just exactly where my mouse is hovering there. So what we're going to do is, uh, for this first drawing, is we're just going to create a simple rectangle using lines. Uh, now you'll notice there's a line command and a polyline command. We're going to start off this first drawing using the line command, uh, and then we'll explain the difference between that and polylines in a moment. So the first method that we're going to use for drawing uh, just a very simple rectangle uh, is the absolute coordinate system. So this is basically where you tell AutoCAD exactly where you want uh, the uh, points to be placed uh, for your lines, uh, where you want it to be positioned, and it will be based on this uh, grid system, this absolute system. So as we said, that's zero, zero. There's other ways of entering it, which we'll talk about in a moment, but this uh, is using the absolute coordinate system uh, for starters. So if we uh, select the line, tool from up here. Uh, again there's several ways of doing this, you'll notice here in the command line now we've got line specify first point. Now I could just click on the screen where I want it to go but I want it to get it on that zero zero point and as you can see I can't quite get my mouse exactly there. I could initiate the grid snap system and that would uh, bring it up but the point I'm trying to illustrate here is that you can manually enter the value down here. So I don't need to click in that command line, that's active. If I now go to my keyboard and I just type in 0, uh, comma 0. So what we've got there are the x and y coordinates for our first point of our line. Now this this looks this may sound like we're kind of hammering up the obvious here. We're uh, stating the obvious here, but it's quite important that we understand uh, that this is a coordinate system because it's going to aid our drawing process as time goes on. So if I uh, I've typed 0, comma 0, so I've entered the coordinates for the first point of my line. I can now hit enter and I can hit enter on the keypad uh, or on the main keyboard uh, and most functions in AutoCAD if you push space uh, that also acts as enter and uh, space is normally quite easy to use because uh, your left hand naturally rests there if uh, you're right handed and using the mouse. So we've got our first point you can see there that it's exactly on zero zero and now I can uh, place my second point. Now I'm going to want to draw, I want to draw a, right hand, uh, a rectangle at the moment so my rectangle uh, is going to be uh, 50 millimeters uh, long. So obviously we've got this set to uh, in millimeters at the moment. You can change AutoCAD so it works in inches if you like. 
uh, but all of my tutorial videos will be in uh, in millimeters so if I now type in uh, 50 uh, so for my next point I want it to be uh, 50 along the x-axis so 50 mil in this direction uh, and I want it this to be uh, a horizontal line so I want my uh, y coordinate to be 0 so when I hit enter now it will place the end of my rectangle uh, at uh, 50 uh, uh, millimeters to the right of uh, my first point now if I wanted the rectangle to go the other way uh, then I could do the same I would just have to enter uh, a minus value for my x value because we've gone uh, beyond the zero point there but uh, mine's going to go to the right here so 50 comma zero enter and that's where my first point is now I'm just going to zoom in using the mouse wheel so we can get a clearer picture of what's going on here so we've gone uh, 50 mil that way uh, and now I want my rectangle to be uh, 30 mil high so now what I need to do is I need to tell it what the coordinates are at this point here so I need to tell AutoCAD where I want this line to be so now if I uh, enter uh, the X value first which will still be 30 uh, from previously so 30 comma now instead of entering 0 sorry that should be 50 shouldn't it? 50 comma now instead of going uh, 0 which is that point there I want it to be uh, at 30 on the Y axis so if I put in 30 into the command line and hit enter then that's exactly where it's ended up now you can see that this grid system uh, the grid layout that we've got at the moment is laid out at uh, 10 millimeter intervals uh, so uh, you can see that we've come up three millimeters now at this point uh, I'm going to continue entering the uh, coordinates uh, for the sake of uh, completeness but actually what's being highlighted here quite nicely is this uh, green extended line that's showing that that is uh, basically set at uh, that's 180 degrees uh, because we've got our polar uh, tracking snap on if I turn that off uh, then that extended green line has disappeared uh, that's gone away now uh, so that's not showing me that anymore um, what I could also do which is quite nice is I could uh, just hover my uh, mouse my cursor over the end of that line and then drag up from there and if I click there then this point that I set here will be perpendicular uh, exactly 90 degrees from that point there so that's another way that I could input this but for the sake of completeness I'm going to continue with the coordinate system uh, and we'll talk about uh, this uh, this snapping in uh, in a later video so uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we've come back along the x-axis so now we're at zero again on the x-axis so uh, my first number is going to be zero uh, and then comma and on the y-axis we're up at 30 degrees uh, sorry 30 mil again so 30 mil 0 comma 30 hit enter uh, and that point's placed now again what's quite nice here is uh, down here you've got a couple of uh, options so uh, you can undo the last uh, line that you've placed so if you place a line and you think oh, I didn't want that to be there you can click undo or press U and enter uh, and it will remove that last line and replace it where we were so if I go U and enter uh, it's taken that that line that I just placed off so that's quite helpful uh, if you make a mistake so let's look now uh, at putting that back in uh, so I can now go uh, back on the x-axis is 0 comma 30 put that back uh, now if I want to because I'm creating a rectangle if I click, click close it will simply place this last line from this point in a, the shortest path to that point so it'll just close it up down there but again for the sake of completeness if I enter the coordinates we've got 0 comma 0 enter and we've come back and created a rectangle now because that is complete I can hit enter again uh, and that function has now stopped so I'm no longer drawing a line uh, I'm back into uh, sort of selection mode here uh, if I uh, want to repeat that action, if I want to draw another line just from scratch, if I press uh, space uh, or enter, it will automatically start the last action, the last command that I told it to do. So if I hit space now, you can see in the command line, it's brought up line again. So it's given me that option, which again, if you're drawing lots of lines, it, it can be quite handy to just have to hit space instead of having to uh, do L enter or line enter or something like that. So I'll just cancel that, that command. 
So as we said, you can select it up here or you can type it into the command line. So if I just start typing L I N E, it automatically brings up uh, these options. So I can select line from there or I can hit enter and I'm ready to start drawing a line again. Uh, so I can just undo that control Z as you normally would. So that's an option. And again, there's uh, abbreviations for a lot of these things. So if I just hit L, for example, uh, that is the abbreviation for line because it's such a common command that it can be abbreviated to L. Uh, and again, you'll get used to a lot of these. We'll, we'll mention a lot of them in the video as we go along. Uh, and uh, you'll pick up on these uh, throughout the videos as we as we make progress. So I don't actually want to do a line command, so we've cancelled that now. So that's how we use the absolute coordinate system uh, to place our uh, lines. And again, we'll, we can use that similar system for drawing other shapes, circles, uh, and rectangles, and polygons, and such. Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video for AutoCAD 2017. In this video we're going to be looking at producing uh, drawings using lines.